Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Y'all can stop shouting at me now. <laughs> I hear a bunch of muffled voices asking me to uh, show up. So here I am, Taurus. Here I am. I am answering the call, Taurus. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Help yourself to the fridge. You know where everything's at in the kitchen. Snuggle up to the table and let's have a talk, all right? For those of you who are returning to the channel and especially those of you who have supported me since day one in the beginning of everything, thank you. I appreciate that tremendously. You have no idea what kind of meaning you have to my life. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So these are going to be our clarifying cards. I didn't shuffle like that this deck because these are all supposed to be right in the upright, okay? So we're just going to shuffle them like this. So let's just jump straight in and see what these cards have to say. There's all kinds of craziness going on in the sky, Taurus. We got the uh, solar eclipse on the 8th. We have Jupiter and Uranus aligning. We have Mercury retrograde and a bunch of other things. I am not an astrologer by any stretch of the imagination, but I do keep up with it. So if y'all need some information, just go Google some things, all right? But let's see what's going on with Taurus, all right? Spirit, source, universal energy. Woo-wee! I have the collective. <laughs> I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. So what do you know about this particular Taurus, and what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good. Please tell me where the stopping point is for this Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top spirit. What is it that this particular Taurus needs to know and understand? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three, bottom of the deck, foundations and achievements. Very nice. Ooh, and the Empress and the Six of Swords. Nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. First card out is the base chakra. So we're going to set this aside. We'll read that when we get to the bottom, okay? All right, power. Power, Taurus. Powerful. Power. Power. Six of Cups. Family, home, nostalgia, memories of love. Transformation with the Death card. Trapped in fear with the Eight of Swords. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Wisdom with the Hierophant. Mental conflict with the Two of Swords. Triumphant success over that mental conflict with the Ace of Swords. And fulfillment of wishes with the Nine of Cups. Victory and success with the Six of Wands. Authority with the Emperor. Awareness with the Magician. And a positive movement forward with the Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands into the future. Recognition and reward with the Three of Pentacles. And balance with the Justice card. Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. Fantastic. Let's see if anything else we're missing here. All right. Let's, we'll stop with that Ace of Wands, okay? These cards are huge, and I just really don't have that much room all over my table. All right. That's why we're using the little bitty ones to clarify. 
All right, let's make some sense out of this. So, strength with power is the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. Strength. Strength is about overcoming and not succumbing to some kind of obstacle in your life. So tell me about power, spirit. Woo-wee. The Ace of Wands. Very nice. The Devil. The King of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Okay, because that's the first card that flew out. That's the first one I saw. So we're going to keep that one. So the Ace of Wands, power. So your strength is the ignition to some kind of catalyst in your life here, Taurus. What's the Six of Cups about? This memory of love. What is this about? Memories of love with the Six of Cups. All right, Taurus. This is what's happening here, okay? This is what's happening. This is beautiful. So, power, okay? Power with the strength card. First card out, it sets the tone for everything. Strength is about overcoming obstacles in your life. Instead of succumbing to them, you are overcoming them, okay? And your power is found in your strength to overcome an obstacle. And I have the Ace of Wands, which clarifies this. Your strength is the catalyst for everything that is going to unfold in this reading. Okay? And we all know Taurus strong, right? Strong, strong, strong. The Six of Cups. So this particular Six of Cups right here, it's not saying that someone's coming back from your past. What this is saying is that the love that this particular Taurus craves in their life, the relationship, the romantic relationship that this person craves in their life, okay? It is, it is coming to you. There is absolutely no doubt that this is coming to you. So there is a warm, fuzzy relationship that is going to fulfill all of your expectations of love. But this particular Taurus, as we get down into this bottom row down here, has a couple of hangups that they need to come to terms with, all right? So the way that you want to be loved, Taurus, is about to come into your life, the world. This whole long-standing look, Knight of Pentacles, this whole long-standing cycle of your life that you have been in is about to change. And I personally believe that it has to do with the eclipse, okay? I have had anxiety like crazy for the past, oh, I'd venture to say six weeks, a lot of anxiety. And I don't have anxiety. And I believe that the anxiety that I feel, I think I said this in another reading for you guys, I feel like something's coming, something huge is coming, but I don't know what to do about it. I, I, I feel like I should be doing something. And my answer from my cards was just be still. Be still and get ready. Be still and get ready. And, and then that leads me to the, what do I got to do to get ready? Well, for me in my own particular situation, remember, this is a general reading. You will not ever know the specific details of your situation unless you have your cards read, okay? For my particular situation, what I did to get ready is I started packing my house because I feel movement. I feel a move. I feel movement coming in my life. And instead of just sitting around and being anxiety stricken about it, I was compelled to start packing. And I did. I did. I started packing. I started with all of the stuff that is in my closet, right? And I packed away all of the things in nice little boxes that I don't use on a daily basis. I went through my bathroom. I went through all of my hair products and skin products and threw away so much stuff and packed away the rest of it. I packed and I packed. I didn't go crazy. I wasn't manic about it, but just little bit by little bit, I packed and got ready. And lo and behold, for me personally, a huge transformation is taking place because I have found the absolute perfect place to move to. 
everything fell into place like dominoes. And lo and behold, me packing my house actually opened the portal for the manifestation of where I'm going to go. And I started packing before I even started looking for some place to go. And I started packing before I even knew this was happening in my life. I just felt the, the, the movement inside of me to do something. And I came to the conclusion through my own personal relationship with Source that I needed to get ready. So I did. And as soon as I got all packed up with everything that I could unload that I don't use on a daily basis, lo and behold, manifestation happened and it just literally dropped in my lap. So now I'm moving, right? Anywho, back to you guys, okay? This long-standing cycle of your life is coming to an end. There is a new cycle and a new chapter with the world card you have learned in some form or fashion everything that you needed to learn from the previous lessons that come before the world. It's the last card in the Major Arcana, right? So you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. And look at that. Transformation. Massive, huge, gigantic transformation of your life. Huge transformation, death, an end to what was and a beginning of what will be, an end to the old cycle that has been long standing in your life with the Knight of Pentacles into a brand new beginning. Trapped in fear with the Eight of Swords. That's old Taurus though, right? Paralyzed in fear. Page of Pentacles in reverse because they can't seem to get going what it is that they want to get going. This card is also about short-term focus, okay? So whoever this reading is for, this particular Taurus is focusing on what they can't create in their life instead of focusing on what they can create in their life, okay? To the Five of Pentacles. Uh, Five of Pentacles is... Uh, obviously financial issues. It's also about being lonely. It's about being left in the cold. So this particular Taurus is focusing, focusing, focusing on loneliness, being left in the cold, insecurity, possibly not feeling viable for some kind of relationship or change in their life, but their focus is short term and they're focusing on the right here and the right now and they're not seeing the bigger picture of the transformation of the death card, right? They're not seeing the bigger picture. Let's go down here. Second row, first card is the Hierophant, Wisdom. This is the card of Taurus. The Hierophant is the person back in the day that would go into the sacred place and receive downloads and messages from the source, and then disseminate those messages to the people, okay? Do I believe in that? Not necessarily, but that is the definition of the word hierophant, okay? This is you receiving downloads from source and doing what it is that needs to be done to get this gigantic transformation off the ground. Okay, back to my personal example. And the only reason I'm talking about myself is to help you guys. My issue, right, trapped in fear, wondering about the future, wondering what was going to happen, focusing on, on the anxiety instead of on the action, right? So what this wisdom card is telling you guys is to be wise, receive your downloads and act accordingly, okay? Don't think that you're crazy. Don't, I mean, everybody thought I was nuts. My kids, right? Coming over to my house, they're like, why are you packing your house? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And, but they know me enough to know the kind of life that I live and the kind of faith that I have in my spiritual path and in, in, in my connection with Source. And my kids are both extremely, extremely psychic. And um, 
the, so they get it, right? They understand and are like, all right, well, mom's got some kind of download. Let's all just buckle up and see where it takes us, right? <laughs> so downloads, doing what you need to do, um, committing to your spiritual journey, committing to your faith faith that when source speaks to you, when source moves you, you are cognizant enough to see that happening and you, you engage, you engage. Okay. Where is this all taking you? What is this transformation? What is this warm, fuzzy place? What is this catalyst that, that, is, that is your strength for overcoming the fear of the Eight of Swords? It is some kind of long, steady, stable commitment. That is the new cycle of this world card right here. This particular Taurus is stepping into some kind of seriously committed situation. And the Ace of Cups talks about new love. Not only does the Ace of Cups talk about new love, but the Two of Wands comes on top of this and talks about your future. You see this guy in the picture right here? He's been walking this path for a long time, right? And now he's come to a split and he can either go to the left or the right, right? This is the world card. This is this path is over and a new path is opening for you. The three of wands says, get ready. Begin to prepare yourself. That's why this Hierophant, in addition to, to commitments of some sort, is telling you to be perceptive. Be perceptive and feel. Feel what Source is telling you. Listen carefully. Be cognizant of what's happening around you because they're trying to prepare you to step into the path of your future. And the path of your future is some kind of warm, fuzzy, beautiful place, Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles. It's the future that you will be able to build the foundation of your life upon possibly hugely financially successful, definitely successful in the sense of your security and your, and your well-being. Then we flop back into the Two of Swords, head energy, right? Mind energy, just like the Eight of Swords, mental conflict at a crossroads. So this is a foresight warning for you, Taurus, that when this begins to manifest in your life, you're going to find yourself at a crossroads because of the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is independent, self-sufficient, right? You have worked very, very hard to be in this position. You have, okay? But the mental conflict of the Two of Swords is the Five of Cups. Loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Still lamenting about decisions from the past. You see, this loss, this regret, this despair, this disappointment goes right along with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. The Five of Pentacles talks about loneliness, left out in the cold, insecurity, something did not work out for you, and you're still holding in your mental that space okay this new thing in your life Taurus needs this space to grow okay so the mental conflict yeah you are at a crossroads with the two of swords you only have two choices in a two just like that two of wands right two choices in a two swords being your mind you can either choose to begin to process things differently or you won't. If you choose to process things differently about this Five of Pentacles in this Eight of Swords, then you clear the, the real estate that this new opportunity, this transformation needs in your mind. Remember, your mind creates your reality. So if you are in this Eight of Swords and this Five of Pentacles, focusing on the right here and now and not having vision for your future, guess what your life is, Taurus? Right here and now, lonely, sad, and trapped in fear. Filled with loss, regret, despair, and disappointment.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Nine of Pentacles behind this talks about your independence, okay? And when we engage in a relationship, that kind of goes by the wayside, okay? But this independence is directly associated with this wounding that you are still carrying inside of you, okay? The devil in reverse comes on top of this and says, release your limiting beliefs, detach from your own toxicity. What's going on inside of your mind isn't reality, Taurus. What's happening inside of your mind is you giving way, 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 way too much power to some kind of big loss that you had in your past. Way too much power to it, right? Release your limiting beliefs and detach from your own toxic input into your life. Triumphant success with the Ace of Swords and have an aha moment. This is victorious mental clarity. Triumphant success in the mind. Have an aha moment that this brooding that Taurus is doing up here is the blockage for everything. To the Five of Swords in reverse and let go of a win at all cost mindset. What is that mindset? Well, this is loss, right? And this loss hurt. And it is goes back to that Nine of Pentacles as well, right? Independent, self-sufficient, ain't ever, 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 ever going to go back in that direction ever again. Because it hurt when I was there and I don't want none of it. Okay? Let go of this mentality to the Page of Wands, just like this Ace of Wands, just like strength and overcoming. Overcome the situation. Don't succumb to the situation. Having strength and overcoming something brings you the catalyst, the spark, the fire that actually turns this whole thing over in your life. And there's the Page of Wands. Put in some effort to come to terms with your state of mind, okay? You are giving way too much power to a wounding instead of the healing. Fulfillment of wishes, because this is what's coming to you, Taurus. Everything you ever wanted is on its way to you. It is the waiting, just waiting for you to clear the real estate so it can grow. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction in your emotions, everything you ever wanted to the star. This is your path. This is your purpose. This is the direction of your life. This is the next cycle, the next phase. This is the transformation. Whatever this is over here for you, this beautiful, beautiful future is your path and your purpose, and you have to get on the roller coaster, okay? You can't not get on the roller coaster because it seems a little bit scary. Personally, I don't like roller coasters. I'd probably not get on the roller coaster, but if Source was telling me, get on the roller coaster, you better bet your bottom dollar I'm getting on that roller coaster. I have learned from my own personal experience and the pain and the sadness of my life in the past, that if Source is telling me to do something, if I feel something in my soul, I'm going to do it. And I don't care what anybody else thinks or says about it. It's why I packed my house with no place to go. And guess what? It all worked out. This is your path and your purpose, Taurus. Getting rid of this little thing that you got gnawing away at you is the catalyst for your path and your purpose. Renewal of your life with the star card. Victory and success with the six of wands. This is about overcoming the battle. This whole reading is about overcoming the battle. If you will be strong and courageous and feel deeply inside of you, listen, ask, and be sensitive to what is being said to you, you will be shown the way to go. Victory, progress, and success by overcoming the battle, the high priestess, your guts, your 
ancient soul from way back in the day, the same ancient soul that is going to pick you up when this flesh and bone experience is over, is the same ancient soul that resides within you right now. The objective of life, the reason you are alive, is to merge your soul's understanding with your human experience so your flesh and bone experience can be the ambassador to your soul's mission. That is the meaning of life, Taurus. Mm -hmm. It is. And this high priestess, lesson two, right? Remember I told you lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not. What it is you ruminate on in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. And if this is a Taurus that is stuck, right? Then change the way that you are thinking about things. Stop focusing on the right here, right now, and begin to see the unending linear concept of life, Taurus. You don't end. You keep going. And the important thing to remember is that your soul came here to do something. We chose to be alive for such a time as this because we have things that we need to accomplish in this lifetime. And your soul in the high priestess energy, this is your internal compass constantly trying to guide you towards your true north. And what it is telling you is overcome whatever battle it is for you personally, overcome it, have faith, have vision, have understanding that if you will follow what your guts are telling you to do without arguing, without question, and without a care in the world for the judgment of the people who don't understand, you will always, every single time, be led in the path of your best and highest good. And by you dealing with this, overcoming this, thinning the veil of this portal and allowing this whole thing to just flow into your life brings you to a place of victory and success in your life. The emperor. The emperor, the emperor, the emperor. This is who's trying to come to you, Taurus. Male, female, doesn't matter. Does not matter. In between, doesn't matter. Right? Does not matter matter. This person is coming towards you. This person is going to take what you have created internally and turn it into something real. Mm -hmm. Six of swords in reverse, stuck in a men bunch of mental baggage though. Mental bullshit waits around your ankles because of some kind of unresolved bullshit from your past that you are still allowing to have power over your life. The magician in reverse keeps this at bay. The universe will not intervene in your free will. They will not, they cannot intervene in your free will. And if your free will is keeping you in a state of fear and despair, guess what your life becomes? The magician in reverse is about your untapped talents. It's about your potential. It's about what could be, Taurus, if you would simply come to terms with the mental baggage that keeps you weighted down in a repeated cycle of your life. It's time it's over. It's time. It's time, Taurus. Magician, it is time to pull this into you. Do you see this portal above his head right here? Do you see his mind on fire right there? What you think about comes about, Taurus. So focus yourself on wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Draw to you through your thought life, followed by action, what it is that your heart desires. Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse talks about being overwhelmed. It talks about giving up. This card also talks about being on edge, defensive, hesitant, 
right? That goes back to the fear. That goes back to the five of pentacles. Page of pentacles in reverse. That's what the devil is in reverse is telling you. Release your limiting beliefs. The beliefs of your flesh and bone experiences. Trust me, Taurus, when you get to the other side of all of this and your journey continues beyond your flesh and bone, this situation right here is not going to make a hill of beans to your eternal existence. But you are letting it suffocate your human experience. You don't want to get to the other side of all of this and look back and say, oh my gosh, I spent the whole damn thing inside of a box. No, Taurus, free yourself so the universe can rain down upon you what it is that your humanness needs to be able to allow your soul to do what it came here to do. And this emperor plays an important part of bringing you some kind of warm, fuzzy, committed type of situation. Yep, yep, yep. To the wheel of fortune. Look at that, Taurus. The star, the wheel of fortune, the magician, the world, all in the upright. All in the upright. The devil in reverse. The devil in reverse is beautiful. That means you're coming to terms with your flesh understanding, your infantile flesh understanding of your existence on this planet and stepping into your soul's existence. Taurus, your name is written in the book of life. Taurus, your life is a thread in the tapestry of universal order. Your life has meaning and purpose and you are important. Don't waste it, Taurus. Don't waste it. Point your vibrations, point your frequency towards divine orchestration. Be in agreement with the universe and it will all unfold before you. I promise you, if you will, if this, for example, up here, right? If you are manifesting despair, if you are trapped in fear in your mind, focusing on the short term, focusing the short term being this human existence, okay? Focusing on, on, on being left in the cold, insecurities, financial issues, financial woes. If you're focusing on that, that is what your life is becoming, okay? Change your focus to, to match the frequency of the universe. This is low vibrational frequency right here. Low vibrational frequency, trapped frequency. Point your frequency, your energetic output to the direction that the universe wants to take your life and everything just rocks and rolls together, Taurus. Look, the Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. This is what they need from you. They need you to work all of this out so you can move forward in this massive, massive transformation that Source is trying to guide into your life. But if you don't cooperate by aligning your frequency and your vibration, by healing this, this is unhealed energy. And unhealed energy is low vibrating energy. Heal this and your, your frequency by default will attract all of this into your life. The two of wands, the waiting game, your future, the same two of wands that was right over here, right? Your future is at stake. The universe is just banging you in the head, Taurus, saying we have all of this fabulous, beautiful life for you because we want you to be happy. We want you to be fulfilled because a happy and fulfilled human being is the perfect tool to connect with your soul's purpose. Recognition and reward. 
to the Knight of Cups, this person over here, this emperor that is poised, ready, willing, and able to be drawn to you once you change your frequency is going to be the kind of relationship that you've never had before because it's a divinely orchestrated relationship. All of your other relationships have been chosen from your flesh and bone understanding of life. This spiritual Taurus, this woke Taurus, this, this awakened Taurus has a universally orchestrated relationship wanting to enter into their life. This relationship is different than any other relationship because you are not choosing this out of your flesh and bone. This is being brought to you by the divine. On the same page, going in the same direction, wanting to build the same things this person that's coming to you is spiritually elevated, Taurus, and the universe needs you to get on with it. Knight of Cups, pull it together. Pull it together so you can be in a place to give and receive emotions. Balance yourself out with the Justice card. Because this is in your best interest. Be accountable for your soul's journey. Be a good ambassador to your soul's journey. It's in your best interest. The moon. To come to terms with this big, huge emotional struggle that you're having with whatever this bullshit is up here for you. Because the catalyst is waiting. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands, it's waiting. It's just waiting for you to align yourself. Ace of Pentacles, it's a new opportunity where you will be able to grow new seeds of prosperity in your life. Financial prosperity, personal prosperity. It's new seedlings, but these seedlings can't grow in this environment. This environment, if you sprinkle seeds on it, they just roll off. They go grow someplace else. This environment with the Ace of Pentacles, when you till this up and you prepare yourself for what it is that's coming towards you, even if you don't know exactly what is coming towards you, these seeds will take root. These seeds will grow. Three of Cups. And you will be in the right place at the right time in the right situation to meet this person over here. Guaranteed. Death in reverse. Inner purging. Inner transformation. Judgment. Conscious. Cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say all of my flesh and bone human bullshit stops right here right now because none of it, none of it, not one drop of it is going to make a difference to my continuous existence in my soul's journey once I leave this meat suit. This is a card about a rebirth. Death in reverse is a rebirth. Huge transformation because you decide to point your attention to the universal order. You decide to follow your thread through the divine tapestry of universal order instead of screwing off on your own. Uh-huh. And the fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. A complete and total leveling up of your spiritual growth and your spiritual understanding. The fool doesn't know the who, what, where, when, why, and how of anything. He doesn't have an itinerary. All he knows is he feels compelled within himself to go in a certain direction, and he does. And he doesn't give a flying flip what anyone around him thinks about it. He just, he just goes in the direction that he feels compelled to go in. And that is the leveling up of the spirituality. That is, that is not giving a rat's ass about anything but what it is you are being called to do and do it.
brand new beginning, brand new journey, brand new chapter of your life, renewal, divine orchestration, following your intuition, doing the work that needs to be done is the catalyst that brings all of this together for you, Taurus. All of it. Fabulous. Absolutely freaking fabulous. Fabulous. Bottom of the deck. Foundations and achievements. The Four of Wands. The eleven eleven card, some people call it, right? This is where you're going. This is where the universe wants to take you. This is readily available to you. And the Empress. You have all three of the most important lessons that are the catalyst of all of the other lessons in the Major Arcana in this reading. The Empress. She's lesson three. Remember, lesson one is the magician. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your internal mechanisms are your soul trying to point you towards your true north. And the empress, she's the dirt of life. She is the seedbed of all creation because she understands that if she can control her thought life, she can create any kind of life that she desires. She understands this, that she will point her thought life towards what her soul is trying to express to her. She is absolutely unstoppable and she will be led every single time to the path of her best and highest good posture as this empress and it will lead you to your emperor yep 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 and look at that six of swords move on from all of the mental baggage that is keeping you from doing your soul's job and living an absolutely spectacular life taurus and then we have that base chakra right there. Your base chakra needs some attention in order to help you get out of this nine of um, eight of swords energy right here. Your base root chakra. Google it. Find out some information about it, okay? Thank you, Taurus, for being here. Thank you for letting me give you yet another reading, Taurus. I truly appreciate it, and I am honored to read your cards for you. If you would like your own personal cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. I still have the sale going on, Taurus. I do, because it has been blowing up like crazy, which tells me that you guys need something, and it's my job to bring it to you. So if you choose me to read your cards, um, I am extremely honored. All right, check out my book, Who Do You Think You Are? The Ultimate Guide to Shed Your Skin and Awaken Your Soul. Namaste. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.